Tomasic Infill not too long ago unveiled a new set of violin strings. Let's just say these are the strings that I didn't know I wanted. Quick story, I was invited by Karachas Violins, which is a premier fine violin instrument shop in the Boston area uh, by their marketing team to have a string consultation with someone from Tomasic Infield. Meet this guy. This guy's named Stoyan, and he's a product manager of Tomasic Infield. And I had the pleasure of talking to him about the dynamo strings. These strings. Yes, these are the dynamo strings. I'm gonna talk about my reactions uh, based off the string consultation and why I think this may be my new violin set. It was a particularly windy day in Boston and in the showroom in which I was trying the strings out on my violin, it had about 33% humidity and according to Stoyan, that is ideal conditions to trying strings out because you don't have any moisture in the air and the, the air molecules are really thin. So you get an accurate depiction of the sound. When we started the conversation, he was looking forward to speaking with me and I was really excited to talk to him. And the, the conversation started with the dominant pros, right? These dominant pros who have been out for a few years now, a couple years now, and I find them to be a good set, uh, and definitely an upgrade from the regular dominance. You know, dominant pros were um, a big announcement because they're trying to get um, a good string set under the $100 range. And to me, I felt that I have a good response rate from the strings and I also have good balance across all strings from the E to the G string. So we started with the dominant pros. You know, I, again, I like the dominant pros, but we started this uh, from here because he wanted me to have a reference point in terms of sound. So we were talking about uh, installing the dominant pros. It took maybe like 15, 20 minutes for the violin to get adjusted, for the strings to get adjusted to the room. And then we're like, okay, this, is our reference point. The dominant pros serve a particular purpose. They're supposed to be on the warmer slash focused sound, really close to the Peter Infeld strings. If you're not familiar with the Peter Infelds, they are really leaning towards a more focused sound. But then come the dynamo strings, these strings. And I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised when I tried these strings out in the showroom in Boston. You ever get that feeling where you go outside on a nice summer day and you go walk on a, on some grass and you feel like all the bristles of the grass under your feet, like if you're wearing no socks, no shoes, you like you feel the grass underneath your toes. Strangely, that's how I felt about the dynamo strings and in a good way because they, you know, I played on a lot of strings in my career and I've reviewed a lot of strings on this channel. And to me, I find that the dynamo strings are just like that. You get the raw feeling of the strings, not so much the sound. I'll get to the sound in a moment, but as a violin player and consumer, these strings really deliver. So when they say you are going to experience a different sound world that you never thought was possible, they're not lying, folks. They, this is the truth. And I've been playing on them for the last 24 hours as the making of this video. These are no joke. And I can tell that Tomasic Infield has spent a lot of time working on these strings, consulting with musicians, consulting with, with violinists. For me, it was a pleasure just to talk chop with these dynamo strings. So let's get into the whole sound world of these violin strings. What are you going to get right out of the box? So very important distinction. This is not an industry wide thing, but this is what Tomasic Infeld is doing with their strings, um, starting with the dynamos. And you may know that there are a lot of counterfeit strings on the market out there. You know, you might buy strings from amazon.com or you might find strings from like a, like a secondhand shop in God knows where. Massic Infeld actually has come up with a solution to this. So when you buy a set of dynamos, like a full set of dynamos, you're going to see this QR code right over here. And I'm not, I'm gonna cover this QR code so that way you won't steal my authenticity. But as, essentially what this QR code does is that when you scan it, you are going to be verifying that these are authentic strings. And each individual set has its own specific QR code to authenticate um, the trueness and the, the original 
dynamo strings. This is a very smart move because you're going to be spending close to 150 American US dollars, um, maybe with tax or without tax, depending on your area and state and location. But I find that to be um, a very small touch that I really enjoyed because I wanna be playing on authentic strings. And that is the solution that they have thought of. On the back, you see that you have a whole chart here. So let's just take a look at this. So we have a little uh, the sound on the brilliant warm side. We have the sound beam, not too focused, but a little bit there, not as much definitely as the dominant pros. Dominant pros and Peter Infill definitely are more focused. Playability, easy. You know, it says it's like right over here on the back of the on the back of the packaging. Easy playability, definitely. Break in time is short, but I would say I would give maybe Tomasic Infill a little bit more credit here. I think the the you know right now it's snowing in Boston as I review this video, and the break in time was actually not bad. I would say a full 24 hours, like in in terms of real life conditions. I think that is like I would genuinely say. I mean, I haven't had any problems yet, but as of right now the break in time was really short. And of course we have the sound colors, which uh, they're claiming to be rich and complex, but I gotta tell you that that's their whole spiel behind the dynamo string. They want the instrumentalist, the violinist to experience a whole a different sound world uh, full of different overtones and colors. And I'm gonna tell you right now that if you're watching this video, the string may not be for everyone. Who are these strings for? You know, these strings are in the $140 range, so they're definitely not for everybody. And this is why I say this, is because I don't think Tomasic Infield ever thought for one second that they're gonna be selling these strings to high school students, unless you're like you know, competition level or a conservatory level. I think that these strings are for the professional violinist who is looking for more versatility in their sound colors because something that is different between the dominant pros over here versus the dynamos, which maybe I'll do a separate review about, uh, trying to compare and contrast the dominant pros and the dynamos. But what I'm sensing from the dynamos is that you are able to do so many different things in the split of a second. And that's something that I've noticed while I was playing in the showroom. I thought that I can go from zero to 100 and the strings can kind of read my mind. Usually I would say this sort of thing when it comes to the equipment, like the, the violin itself or the bow, but this was the first time where I have tried strings where I did something with my bow, and it's not a very expensive bow, but I did something with my bow and it automatically did what I wanted to do, and the strings responded accordingly. And that is a very rare feat uh, that I have found that was lacking in other strings. And to me, the dynamos do just that. You are able to get a quick response. The, the sound world is much different. The playability is super easy. The intonation is gonna help you. The overtones are out of this world. As a matter of fact, Stoyan played my violin and I listened all the way in the back of the hall. And I couldn't believe it was my violin, honestly. I didn't realize that my violin could have sounded that good. I wanna be clear that this video is not sponsored by Tomasic and Infield in any way, shape, or form. These are my honest opinions. But I, you know, and they gave me a set to try out uh, as a gift just to show up and all that stuff. So I definitely wanna give you an honest review to my audience. So if you are, um, new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos that are gonna be coming up. The packaging is very similar to Dominant Pros. You have this kind of new era of packaging to kind of help protect the strings. Actually, the the, the, the way that you open the strings is very similar to Dominant Pros. Actually, it's these are so brand new that I have to take the sticker off. Hold on a second. So I have to take the sticker off and then they open like this, and then this is what comes in the box. So this is a full unboxing of the strings. And then what you get are three, uh, sorry, four strings right over here. And believe it or not, the scanning, the QR code are actually on each individual string for authenticity. So it's not just per set, you are actually getting authentication on each string. So if you are, you know, if you're an A string or D string or G string, whatever string breaks on your violin, you, are, you can be rest assured that when you go to a trusted strings instrument shop and you're going to get a dynamo string you are going to uh, get 
a, a really true string that is shipped from Vienna. When I was thinking about making a video for the, the channel for the Dynamo strings, I was thinking, okay, well, how can I best serve my audience when in terms of how the sound is coming from the instrument, like right out of the box. So I figured I'm not gonna be doing a video sound recording in my studio here. I feel like we need to apply these strings in a real world setting to really give you a sense of how these violin strings sound. So here we go, let's transport ourselves, ready? Now. So I figured that if I'm going to try the dynamo strings, I'm gonna try them in a real world setting. And that is going to be in a church. And as you can hear based on the acoustics, I'm the only one in the, in the church right now. It's a nice, beautiful space with lots of wood on the top, has carpet on the bottom. So I feel like this would be an accurate depiction of having the dynamo strings in a real world setting. And I wanna show you guys what I'm going to be recording with. I'm gonna be recording on an Earthworks S, R25. I find it to be a really amazing microphone and you're going to hear it in just a moment. I'm going to be playing for you a few excerpts from different pieces that um, that showcase different sides of the strings. So we're going to do some, some Bach, we might do a little bit of Tchaikovsky just so that we get a little bit of more G-string sounding uh, music and for you to get a sense of what these may sound like in a concert hall with some, re with some natural reverb. Need to make sure my violin's in tune first. A nice healthy 441. So here we go. So to give you an idea, the microphone is about six to six to eight feet away from me, so that way you can hear the, the reverb, the natural acoustics of the hall. So I'm going to play a little bit so that way you get a sense of what these strings sound like.
So now you have listened to the strings. What are your thoughts? I'm curious to know. Leave a comment down in the comment section below because I want to get this conversation going in this community. What do you think of the Dynamo strings? I personally like them a lot. So much, in fact, to say that they might be my new official strings set on my violin. I said that earlier in the video, but I feel like that is going to be the case. But what Stoyan really was trying to tell me is that Tomasic Infield was thinking of its history and it was thinking of the strings history. And we were talking a little bit and how they, Tomasic Infield wanted the modern player to think of strings that were made in the past. And specifically, they designed the strings for modern violins. So right now I'm playing on a 2015 Polish violin uh, made by Luthier in Krakow, made uh, by Jan Pawlikowski. That's the violin that I play on right now. Just having a, a Polish violin that's modern, I feel like that's exactly the conditions that Tomasic Infeld was looking for. So, you know, this just happened by coincidence. I was playing on this instrument and the sound automatically was rich with overtones. It was great in terms of response, in terms of playability. Um, the feeling under my left hand was also really feeling really nice because there's a similar texture to the string compared to Dominant Pros. So the, you know, I don't know what specific metal they use to kind of help ease the, the playability on the left hand. Whatever the case may be, I really enjoyed it. And I play on medium tension strings usually, and the dynamos are also medium tension strings. So these are going to be some for violinists who are looking for something that you don't have to press in so hard to make a sound, but you can you can definitely use the weight of your arm. You can use a different angle contact point to really explore a whole new sound world. And that is my um, that is my first impression of the Dynamos. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Most importantly, I want to thank Tomasic Infeld and Connolly Music for providing me with a set of strings to try out. I really appreciate it. And I also want to thank the marketing team at Caritas Violins in Boston for allowing me to have this wonderful experiment in the showroom.